So a subscriber from San Francisco, Brother Lee, sent me this email, which is called Watch Charleston White Spitting Game to Batty On Live. And I looked at the video and it looks like Charleston White on an Instagram live with what it appears to be um, an IG model or something like that. And maybe some of you guys may have already seen this already. I'm not sure. But you know what? I was interested. So then I pressed play. My wife is black. Oh, okay. But, but I'm going to lazy. She's not you lazy. Like Uh, if you ain't never had no Mexican <laughs> don't go there. I'm telling you. Why you think everybody running over there to the Kardashians? And, no, the black woman, she lazy when she... Because the black woman is selfish. It's all about her. You got to please her. Men, men I, don't, all black, I don't think all, all black, black, black women, women, women are lazy. And they self-centered. It's, it's natural. Spe men, so I do you like black, black women, women or not? out of black women you ask me a question which one is better and i'm explaining to you why she's better why the mexican is better than the black woman why you think the cardi b's and uh until little right. megan the stallion came in along with them bending the knees kind of riding it the black woman don't like that the black woman later the listen when the black man get off work the black woman ain't sucking his in the car she ain't she ain't catching him at the door no listen the spanish woman is more dominant in bed than any other woman. The Asian woman is more subservient. That's why they have Asian bathhouses. The black woman is not trained and raised to serve. The black woman is raised up by her mother, watching her mother take through the abuse to serve. The black woman don't see her mama serve. Nobody. So I have a question. What if black women don't really have much oh, to but they submit do. But, Hold on, hold on. But they so submit and serve to their baby daddies. They let impregnate them. So they submit and subserve to somebody. They submit to the white boy on the job that mistreat them that she complain about. She submit to the pastor that she go give her money to. So she submit and subserve. She just pick and choose who she want to submit and subserve to. And when she pick wrong, she blame the man. My mama told me you attract who you are. So if the black woman don't have nobody to submit and subserve to, that's because she's attracting all the wrong men. You attract who you are. That's why you keep picking the same kind of men you got to complain about. Mm, well, well, I that's who, what, what is, convicted felons. You have to I'm ask yourself, what's inside of you that <laughs> keep attracting convicted felons? Because check game. Mama and grandmama say spirits are familiar with each other. You might not know the man, yeah. but it's a spirit in him, and it's a spirit in you that knows one another. It could be abuse. Mm -hmm. You may be used to being abused, and he may be an abuser. So you are tracking the abuser because you're used to being abused. Some women who've been molested mm -hmm. attract molesters. Most women who've been abused attract abusers. So let me just say this. You pick what you want. So the first thing I saw about this particular clip is he admitted, I'm married to a black woman. And of course, as the conversation transpired, he started to talk about, you know, some of the things that certain black women are lacking in the servitude of their black husbands. He referred to his wife as being, you know, lazy in bed. Uh, and he referred to, you know, women of the Hispanic community or Latina community as being more um, participatory, willing to give men, uh, a black man, a, a good opportunity in bed, trying to give on a good show. And he talked about something that was very interesting in that spiel. He said the black woman hasn't grown up seeing her mom serve any man or any ways or any, in other words being feminine towards any man and that's powerful because if you think about that it's very true and that's not the fault of the black woman that she doesn't get to see that but when you think about why so many black men are you know going to the dr are so many black men even dating in the pan-african community that's the reason like i was on the phone uh, with brother George and he has a buddy that's from Ivory Coast and the brother from Ivory Coast was like look you know um, if you were to come over to 
Ivory Coast, you know, man, the women in Ivory Coast, man, you know, they would be a, a great wife, you know, uh, for one of your buddies or something like that. You know, they wash every part of your body, clean every part of your body, like every night. Um, I know I was on a stream with her brother and he was talking about his woman is from Colombia. and every night she wears lingerie to bed, uh, she puts on perfume, things like that. She cleans his body, cleans him and everything like that. Then no matter what time she gets off work, she cooks and cleans for him. All of this, right? And when you look at these brothers in the passport bro community, What's often overlooked is, I mean, you know, the fact that they want to leave anyway. So they can't get a woman at home and, you know, nobody wants them. Are these black men who are dating interculturally within the black community? I mean, like, you know, you might be dating a woman from, you know, Uganda or Kenya, or you want to date a woman that's from another race. It's always talked about how, you know, you're a sellout or you're weak, or let's say, you know, You'll hear a clip like this from Dr. Umar Johnson. Black men date white girls because you don't value black women. And if you don't value black women, you also have very little self-esteem as a black man as well when it comes to race. You may have a lot of self-esteem athletically. You may have a lot of self-esteem economically. You may have a lot of self-esteem socially. You may have a lot of self-esteem academically. But when it comes to your Africanity, you have low self-esteem. If you believe that the black woman is less than the white woman, you also believe the black man is less than the white man. You can't have it both ways. And while I can agree with some of that stuff that Dr. Umar Johnson says, just like we've heard, it's not feasible all the time and people like dr umar johnson and some of the brothers that are just you know in the in, in the black community fail to realize the lack of treatment that a lot of sisters are offering in this dating free market and this is a real free market because there is no government intervention in who can get married and or, or, or whatnot and the world is smaller than it used to be with with, with flights being much cheaper for example, like even coming to Africa 20 years ago was very difficult. Um, but now you can get to countries within 10 or 12 hours, depending on where you're coming from. You have multiple flights leaving Africa, you know, most countries multiple times a day. Hey, it's cheaper and it's less expensive to do things. The internet has connected almost everybody. It's not like what it used to be. The competition is fierce. So, and the word is getting out. It's like, hey, if I can get a woman that's going to be able to satisfy my needs and also give me some more respect, I'll do it. And let me just say this, that woman don't necessarily have to be Hispanic. That person can be a black Dominican, a Afro Latina Brazilian, Afro Latina Puerto Rican, and they're going to have the same skin tone and, and, and be in the same F, you know, the same race, racial makeup, but with a different perspective afro-cuban and and i think what the brother is saying is very powerful a lot of brothers feel like what he just described in what he's talking about is always overlooked when black men make this point always overlooked and looked and understated and the black man's agenda or what he wants or his uh, his particular desires and needs are never met and that's the issue that we're talking about today but guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again another episode of the celebrity junk i appreciate you for all that you do subscribe to the bell we're out